Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Shore Regional is being brought to you by Ripped. Reach your potential training in Titan Falls. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Homedale is being brought to you by the Law Office of Lawrence Luttrell. The Shore Regional Blue Devils looking to get off to a 2-0 start. Coach Mark Costantino's team tangling with Homedale. This would be a Shore Conference Classic. The fireworks get started on the opening kickoff. This is Shane McLaughlin. He had five touchdowns against Asbury Park last week, and he has got some wheels. Huge return here, 65 yards down to the 20-yard line. Homedale's defense holds strong, and Shore turns to Cade Torres. Not every day you see a defensive end, number 52 kicking, but Torres has got a leg. Good to go from 33. The Blue Devils on the board with a 3-0 lead. The Hornets were able to answer the bell in big spots throughout the game. Fourth and six, John Tomasulo keeps it himself. Big first down run down to the 33-yard line. Then it's time for Homedale to turn to their mountain of a man. Cameron LaMountain, there he goes. 31 yards, high stepping. Start of a big night for the senior. It's 6-3, extra point, no good. Tell you what, the Hornets defense was stellar in the first half. Thomas Sardo gets to the backfield, comes through with a tackle for loss. Only a sophomore. Then, with Shore putting together a drive in the second, we've got a fumble. Nick Iulo comes up with a loose football at the half. Homedale holds on to a 6-3 edge. Second half, Thomas Sulo made the shift from wide out to QB1, and boy, he could run the option. Keeping it himself here, Tomasulo in the open field. A 65-yard run for John Tomasulo. The Hornets are in business to open the third, and it would lead to this. Cameron LaMountain, great push by the O-line. He's in the zone. Second TD of the game for LaMountain. It's now 13-3. Shore has an answer. Mike McGee stepping forward to avoid the rush. Dumps it off to Shane McLaughlin. Nine-yard touchdown pass, and we got a ball game. It's 13-10. Shore runs that wing tee. They've been run, run, run for years, but hey, hold on. The Blue Devils are throwing it around in 2019. McGee to Terry Karlstrom into Hornets territory at the 48. Look for a lot of the mcgee Karlstrom combo this year. And then final play of the third quarter. McGee's airing it out again. McLaughlin's got it. 23 yards. And at the end of three, Shore's got the lead back. It's 17-13 Blue Devils. Homedale going for it on fourth and two. La Mountain. There ain't no mountain high enough. There ain't no valley low enough. We don't have the rights to sing the rest of the song. Cameron La Mountain all the way down to the two yard line. Then some controversy. We're going to slow this down. Homedale appears to have a false start before La Mountain scores his third of the game from a yard out. No flag. Sure not happy. The Hornets have a 20 to 17 lead. Back and forth it goes. McGee on third and six, up the middle, into the second level. Mike McGee is a gamer. He's got Shore threatening. With just under two minutes to go, the Blue Devils turn to Cade Torres again. This time from 31 yards out, McGee handles the low snap beautifully. The kick is good. Big props to McGee and Torres. Buckle up, we've got overtime at Shore. We're tied up at 20. After Shore comes up empty on offense, they turn to Torres again. But boy, big ask here. 40 yards, it's online, and hold on, it's good. Kate Torres gives Shore Regional a 23-20 lead. How about three field goals for Torres? So now Homedale gets its chance in overtime, and the O-line continued to push its way towards Pater. LaMountain's got Homedale inside the five. Third and goal from the one, LaMountain. Is he in on the second effort? He's in the end zone, but not before the whistle blew. Shore's defense comes up with a big stop. And so now, the game comes down to this. Homedale gets one play, and they need to go that far for a season opening win. Here we go. Fourth down inside the one. Did LaMountain get in? There's the call. Touchdown, Homedale. And there's Bedlam and West Long Branch. He needed about six inches, and he got about eight. Oh, man, two great football teams left it all out on the field. And what a great scene as the Hornets open the 2019 season with a memorable win. 26 to 23 is your final in overtime. McLaughlin had two TD catches and Torres had three field goals, while LaMountain did all the scoring for the Hornets. Homedale had one of the best seasons in program history in 2018 
With most of those key contributors gone, the 2019 Hornets have proven that they've got the heart to win a hard-fought game. And Jeff Reynas is one proud head coach. That is something so special. When you dig down like that, and you fight, and you find, and you scratch, and you claw, and you find a way to win the game with a freaking inch to go, man. That's what we work on. That's what we work on nine months for. That's why you guys did it. Hats off to you. That's fantastic. Yeah! All due respect to Shore. That was they put up a huge fight. Incredible game to them. That inch. Coach called my number. I heard. I heard it was coming to me. I just worked as hard as I possibly could. Oh, lineman made a nice push. We just got in the end zone and won the game. What does it feel like to come through for your team like that in such a dramatic way? It feels amazing, but I'm not taking credit, just myself. Shout out to all my teammates. You know, everyone played a great game. Just incredible to start the season like that. A thrilling night in West Long Branch. Beneath the harvest moon, I'm Rich Grampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.